Hey everyone, welcome back to another video in which we're gonna master VS Code terminals with some commands you should remember for a powerful user for VS Code and saving a bunch of seconds every minute. So let's get started. Also before starting off, I would like to thank the sponsor of the video, Coda.com, which allows you to host a VS Code instance on cloud. It pretty much means that VS Code is running in your browser on your server and you can directly run the code or see changes on your server. It has various uses from online collaborative work to getting a similar VS Code environment on cloud for like powerful computing. It is completely free and open source. So do check it out. Link is in the description. All right, first things first. Now, if you are new to VS Code, you might think that you need a separate terminal. But the thing is, VS Code comes with a built in terminal and you can quickly toggle it by pressing control and that tilde sign which is on the left of one not really sure how to pronounce it but that's how you do that so if you press it again one more time it would go away press it again the terminal would appear right now for some reason if it isn't working on your system what you have to do is press command shift p and right here um, key bindings key right here open keyboard shortcuts right so you're gonna find terminal.focus and uh, right here you're gonna see no not really focus you need actually toggle so you're gonna see this thing right here so get workbench action workbench dot action dot terminal dot toggle terminal and set a key binding by double clicking here and pressing your control and tilde combination and it will work all right the second thing you should know is you can actually switch places of this terminal so you can see right here you don't really have a lot of options to do with this terminal but if you right click just right here and press this move panel to the right you're gonna see you get a nice little split window which is actually good for bigger displays now sometimes you have like a c or c plus plus code running and you have like set of automation compiling it using nodemon or something and you really want to see the results in real time so I prefer this this window right here when I'm working on my code you know just, just typing code here and saving file and it automatically just saves it builds it shows me the output this is the location I prefer again if you don't like this location you can obviously just go ahead and right click somewhere here and let me just see you're gonna need to expand this a little right click here and move panel to bottom and there you go the third hack is to split the terminals now you're gonna need this a lot of times once you start working with command line more and more and you're gonna appreciate vs code provides it out of the box for you now you can go ahead and press this right here which is like a split window or you're gonna see this shortcut right here uh, in, in the tooltip as well so i'm gonna press command and that shortcut and you're gonna see that i get a a second window right here now Another thing you could do is like obviously you could toggle it on and off but if you want to like you know go to the first terminal you can say command option and that arrow key or command option arrow key right. It's going to take you to left and right. Now for windows guys I'm not really sure how you would do that but you can figure that out by going to again to keyboard shortcuts by pressing command shift p keyboard shortcuts and searching terminal dot toggle uh, not really toggle now. It should be focus next so next pane right so this is for the vs code actually these two both of these work so if i press command option and down key also i can you know jump around so you're gonna see your key binding right here so if you want to modify it you can do that but i like the default ones so it's good for me this brings us to renaming terminals you could see that we have zsh and zsh names here which is not really very useful if you have a bunch of terminals open once you especially once you start opening more and more terminals you're gonna see you have all these names and it's pretty easy to get confused so what you could do is inside your keyboard shortcuts only just search for terminal dot rename and assign it a shortcut now i have given it a pretty big shortcut but <laughs> you can give it a small one if you like so it's command shift control r right so what happens now if if i focus on this terminal and say command control shift r 
you're gonna see that I get a nice little pop-up window here which says enter terminal name so I could say like node node process one right and I could just do a similar thing here and say um, you know whatever webpack build something like that then I could go ahead and rename other terminals as well if I like you could see that it appears here so it's it's convenient now so I could just go ahead and say this to be like you know uh, I don't know like anything you know bash script something like that so now it makes sense right so you're gonna be able to quickly switch across terminals without losing context this brings us to number five which is actually quickly clearing the terminal now if you're a guy like me who is doing you know clear every 10 seconds in the terminal so what you could do instead of this is just go ahead and press command k and it will clear the terminal on windows or linux it should be control k but again if you don't know or if it's not working you can always check in the key bindings now the bonus tip time now what it could do is that now once you're in the terminal how do you get back into your text editor without using mouse so what we could do is we could figure out a bunch of shortcuts here let's just go ahead and open keyboard shortcuts and i'm gonna write here focus terminal dot focus right so if we go to here you're gonna see that i have a key binding set here you might not have that and uh, what this is is command b command k right so if i have this terminal binding set and i'm in the text editor i press command b and k i get to terminal and i can write anything right but how do i get back now now to get back what you have to do is you have to search for focus active editor not really terminal just focus active editor and right here add the same key binding but inside the when clause just go ahead and just change the when expression or you can press command k command e for that inside the when clause add the terminal focus keyword right so what happens now so what i could do now is basically once i'm inside my text editor i can hop quickly to my terminal by saying command b k right here i'm back into my terminal i can do a bunch of my stuff whatever i want to do and once i'm done I could just say the same shortcut command bk to hop back to the terminal command bk gets me to the terminal command k would clear it and command bk i'm back to the text editor and obviously i can toggle it back with the control and the tilde symbol right you could also change the font family of your terminal right here by using terminal.integrated.fontfamily and setting a custom font for it right here but i believe you could pretty much do it inside the settings as well right here so if you search terminal here and you could just customize a bunch of stuff right here right so that's why i didn't cover it because it's available in the gui part so yeah that's pretty much it go check this out check these options out and uh, yeah that should make you a power user you should remember a bunch of commands but not really need to remember as well just know that they exist and start using them once you start using them, your muscle memory would automatically remember them. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you then in the next one.